welcome back to the dive. Um, admittedly, it took me a really long time to figure out what I wanted to talk about. So much has happened over this past year. Um, so many things that I am still healing from, so many things that I'm still trying to understand, so many things I'm still trying to work through and, you know, even intellectualize in ways. Um, and as I began to rummage through my mind, um, one of the things that I hadn't shared with many people um, this year, and particularly about this time last year, was that I was in a business partnership with um, my ex-husband and we decided to, um, in that partnership, and, and I'll be even more clear, he decided to end that partnership. Um, so me being who I typically am really jumped into uh, problem solving mode and really um, spent from this time, 2021, end of October, November, 2021 to a full year later, um, being in, operating in um, what what is self-preservation, what is survival, what is fast-paced resolving, what is high anxiety, and um, moving to try to create and recreate, but not even recreate, really, to try to create a sense of security. Um, some of the things that I'd worked for were all in the balance, you know, with this particular change. And for a while, I did not really even know that I was working um, myself into a frenzy, literally just going and going and going all day, all night, sleeping few hours. And um, finally, a few months ago, I was able to, um, I don't know, come to my senses. I sat um, by the fire at my house and there was this voice that told me, you can take a breath now. Um, and, and while you know, there's still things to work through, there's still a lot of healing that you have to go through, there's still a lot of um, thinking you don't have to continue to solve problems before they get there. You don't have to exist in survival mode. You don't have to exist in this pace of just doing, trying to figure out the next thing, trying to make your way to the next, uh, through the next week. Um, because you've put in this work and now you have to let all of that energy settle. You have to let all of the work that you've done to keep the business intact, to keep uh, all the things that you work for intact. You have to let all of that energy um, grow into those things, to, to really diffuse into those things versus uh, continuing to wonder if they will exist. And of course, we wonder if they will exist. Like we wonder if I'll have my house, if I'll have a business, if I'll be able to find another job, if I'll be able to pay my mortgage and my car payments, my, you know, my bills. Um, it was scary. And one of the things that you know, I'm recognizing with my own therapist is that, you know, I don't. Fear for me really moves me into a um, a headspace that is go go go. It is um, in one way it's fight, and in another way it is uh, fleeing. You know, I'm trying to solve all the problems, and by 
solving all the problems. I'm fighting against what it is that I think is attacking me in this particular um, situation a year ago. It was the loss of a business that I put a lot of energy into. It was the loss of a house that I just bought, a loss of you know, the car I had, and um, really the loss of what felt like freedom. Um, and so, yeah, I wanted to save those things. I wanted to save myself. I wanted to uh, be able to get back to the space, and that was my flaw. Um, is that all the work I was doing was trying to get back to somewhere when really what I had to understand was how to go to somewhere, how to go through somewhere, how to go through uh, the fear, how to even uh, share this story with uh, my confidants, to share this story with um, you know the people that I'm getting to know um, and how to let all of the intellectualized fear, and even the, the, the anxiety in my body um, begin to dissipate. Because while I haven't, you know, made it completely out of the woods, I'm nowhere where I was last year. Um, the same things aren't the same problems this year. I sat with my therapist uh, a few weeks ago and, and I really, you know, even now I, I bring it up and it, it brings this emotion to me. Uh, that I hadn't necessarily known how to deal with um, specific types of hurts and specific types of fears because I was able to work to do my way through them, to pick up more on a calendar, to pick up more, you know, another class, another degree, another. And so, um, you know, I have spent a lot of life, even before this incident, um, running away from the things or fighting the things, however you want to look at it, uh, in this very, you know, cognitive way. And... And part of that is because you don't want to feel uh, the hurt and the depth of a hurt that, that happens uh, at times. You don't want to feel the, the, the weight of what ifs uh, in your life. And what I've come to know is that all of that weight, all of that uh, uncertainty, all of that insecurity, all of that desire for safety um, they are a part of the narrative uh, they are part of uh, what will create meaning for me tomorrow and the day after the day after what will create meaning for me and my kids me and my partner me and my friends um, but only if I allow myself to one, feel it, but to know that I don't have to continue to run from it or fight it, that, um, that as I reach this light at the end of a tunnel and it grows bigger and bigger, that um, it is on me to understand uh, where I am in this journey and to take this pace, this breakneck, breakneck pace and just, um, you know, pump the brakes to live, to experience, to love, to allow some of that hurt that just, you know, it's not bottled up inside as resentment. Um, it is bottled up inside of never again. You know, it is bottled up inside as, nope, got to go to the next thing. It's bottled up inside as, uh, can't sleep because I have to figure out the next five moves. Um, you know, can't really connect in the ways that I want to because I'm not sure if something's going to come up that I need to handle. Um, so let me be on alert at all times. And don't get me wrong, there's absolutely time and place for that. Um, and there is a time and place for us to 
recognize how much we've moved through um, some of the greatest challenges of our lives, how much we have um, have labored to get through hurts and disappointments, to get through, uh, again, uncertainty, to get through um, confusion. And what I've come to recognize is that uh, I have to let myself uh, feel the sting of some of that so that I can get through it, not just problem solve myself around it. Um, because those feelings will come back up and I'll be disappointed again, I'll be hurt again. And it does not mean that I need to pack my life with you know, things that really <laughs> don't protect me from any of that. Um, you know, they're great things, right? Having a house to stay in is a great thing. Having a car to move throughout the state, the country, is a great thing. Having a little bit of money to go out to dinner is a great thing. Um, but they don't keep you from hurt. They don't keep you from disappointment. They don't keep you from confusion. They don't keep you from um, fear. And continuing to add more and more out of the guise of self-preservation, to do more and more out of uh, wanting to feel more and more secure um, for me. Uh, seemed to be a little bit of a, uh, a catch-22. Because I didn't <laughs> feel more secure. I just felt more busy. I hope uh, this helps someone. Uh, I'll see you soon.